Hey guys, if you're interested in any figures or figure accessories that I have currently up for sale, go ahead and send me an email. Just go to my channel page on YouTube and go to the about section, click on that, and you'll be able to get in touch with me. Alright, so welcome back, and this is the first modification that I'm doing to this figure. My new Hot Toys DX19 Batman figure. And what is the modification you might ask? Well, this is a custom cape made by Jackson Zoo. I used to have it on my DX12 Batman, but now it's on the DX19. So you guys tell me if there's any real difference between the stock cape and this cape. Me personally, I don't see a real difference. The only real difference I see is that it's a little bit f flatter on the shoulders, but that's only because the material on the stock cape is a little thicker than this. This cape is like really thin, to the point where you can practically see through it. I'll put up a picture for comparison between this cape and the stock cape, but yeah I don't see a real difference between this cape and the stock cape like I already said. They both look good. That's why I'm saying that there's no real reason to buy a custom cape. It'll be a huge waste of 50 to 60 dollars or more to get a custom cape because in my opinion it's just not worth it. On the DX12 and Armory Batman it was absolutely necessary because the stock cape that came with those figures were trash. So a custom cape for those figures was a must. But this new DX19 figure, I don't think it's necessary. It'll just be a waste of money. Alright, so I'm going to put a pause in here and do another modification. So here's the next modification that I did. He's got his empty cowl there. That cowl is actually from the Hot Toys Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises. The 1.0 version. And as you can see, I got his Bruce Wayne head sculpt on. And the other modification that I did was that I did put his backpack on. And this backpack is from the DX12. As you can see, it fits perfectly on the DX19. And I also put his sticky bomb gun on his belt. I just put it on there with some sticky tack. I wanted to represent that scene when he's in Hong Kong on the Dark Knight. Okay, so stick around guys. I got one more modification and then I'll wrap up this video. And last but not least, we have Bruce Wayne from The Dark Knight. This is the Bruce Wayne from the Batman Armory set, but he has the DX19 Bruce Wayne head. Now, if you try to put this head on this body, it pegs in fine with no problems, but it sits really low. And it makes it look like he's got no neck, so you're going to have to raise it up just a little bit. So what I did was put some sticky tack at the base of the neck and that helped elevate it just a little bit. So now it looks like he has an actual neck. Alright guys, so that's it for the modifications. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. But until next time guys, I shall catch you all later on the tube. Alright, bye guys.